Red Knot not quiet. Fight. Kill. Live. Here the community's call for new content. And with the April update, the live team is excited to be able to bring new ways to play and experience Destiny. Making your Guardian more powerful is a huge component to the Destiny experience. So with the April update, the live team raised the light level up to 335. We've basically made it easier to increase your light level through different sources. So whatever you're interested in, there's something there for you. Crucible and Trials of Osiris and Iron Banner. Court of Orcs, King's Fall, Nightfall, and Prison of Elders, all roads lead to 335. <laughs> we have new bounties, we have a new story mission, new quests, including a unique quest line with Petra where PlayStation players can earn a special reward. We also have two new strikes. With the April update, we've had the opportunity to go back and really retool a fan favorite in the Winner's Run strike. You're running through the strike with a whole new set of enemies, a whole new set of mechanics, and a brand new boss. With the Blighted Chalice strike, Varric has sensed a new Taken power rising to take the throne, and he wants you to chase this power and ultimately capture Malak to imprison him in the Prison of Elders. We've updated the Prison of Elders with three versions. First, we bumped up the light level. It's much more difficult now. We also have a full Takenated version. Takenated is when we go into an area and we express artistically the infestation of the Taken. And we have the challenge mode. There are eight new bosses that you can face and new modifiers where the players must fight a series of bosses three in a row every week in order to complete their scorecard and earn elite rewards. With the Prison of Elders, we've made it so you don't always require a key. That wasn't exactly something that players enjoyed. And now you can go down to the big chest as many times as you want a week. With these new challenges come new rewards, including a new type of gear called Chroma. In addition to shaders, in addition to mix matching their armor, they now have a new way to further express the light in their guardians. Customize your entire appearance, from your armor to your weapons. You will literally glow with a color that's a reflection of your personality and an extension of your guardian. Many players were clamoring for the Taken appearance ever since we launched the Taken King. So that's a whole new set of armor that they can play with and really look kind of badass in doing that. Once you collect a full set of Taken armor for one character, you will be given the Taken emote for free. The live team is taking exotics from year one and bringing them forward. Also, we have an exotic sniper rifle available to PlayStation fans. Bringing back a number of familiar exotics and updating a variety of year one legendaries. Shadow Price, Badger CCL, there's two to the morgue, LDR, all of those kinds of Vanguard and Crucible weapons that players loved in year one. We're excited to give Guardians new bounties, new strikes, new quest lines, gear customization options, new Prison of Elders challenges. More things to kill, more things to collect, more things to do. There's just more of everything. I'm most excited about raising my light level and then going out and acquiring some of that chroma gear. On April 12th, I'm taking the day off work, too. <laughs> I am excited. The new Taken sword is awesome. You can just go destroy the Taken with their own sword. This is for the players.